welcome to kishore snit parsala in this video lecture we will see the concept of hooke's law and moduli of elasticity okay now let us see what is hooke's law hooke's law states that within the elastic limit this is the important thing stress is directly proportional to strain make sure that you watch previous video about stress and strain before coming to this video what is stress stress is force by area strain is change in one quantity divided by original initial quantity okay so since stress is directly proportional to strain stress divided by strain is a constant okay so stress divided by strain is a constant thing okay this constant we call it as a moduli of elasticity now now let us see what are all the properties of moduli of elasticity this moduli of elasticity it do not depend on stress do not depend on strain length area volume so it is independent of the dimensions we can say now let us see it but it depends on temperature impurity present in the material okay and the type of material so moduli of elasticity depend on temperature impurity and type of material but it is independent of the dimensions now you must remember these formulas these formulas you must substitute accordingly okay volume we can give it as area into length area is pi r square into length okay so this formula according to the condition you must remember then volume of a cube is l cube that is suppose this is a cube of length l side of length l then it is l cube so volume is equal to l cube so delta v by v i can say it as 3 into delta l by l this concept we learnt in units and measurement chapter okay so power into fractional change fractional change in volume is equal to power into fractional change in length this is the important for cube only okay for cube for this thing for a wire let us keep for wire we learned that volume is equal to pi r square l so fractional change in volume is equal to 2 into fractional change in radius plus fractional change in length okay this is the fr fractional change in volume for a wire okay this is the hooke's law graph okay let us take y axis strain and x axis stress and y axis x axis we take strain y axis we take stress okay okay this is the common type of graph see here there is one bend and here there is the end of the graph okay this region between the two things that is one bend and the other end is the plastic deformation region this is the very important thing you must remember many different regions will be given but for competitive exam purpose this alone you remember if this region plastic deformation region is large then that substance is more ductile if the plastic deformation region is small then it is more brittle and this is a previous year question also and even in the ncert ex exam exercise part you can see this question if there is a long plastic deformation region then it is more ductile suppose the plastic deformation region is only this much that is small then it is more brittle now let us see what are elastomers substance which have no well defined plastic deformation region are called as the elastomers example are iota and rubber so stress and strain here you can there is no bend so you can there is no well defined plastic deformation region okay so that is the elastomers this is the graph for elastomers and it is given in ncert so what are all the graphs given in ncert you must remember only in the in the exams only from the graphs given in ncert they ask in the neat exam okay now let us see one important point in an load elongation graph that is load is nothing but stress elongation is nothing but related to strain so in the load elongation graph load along y axis and elongation along x axis top line is the thickest wire okay remember that in the load elongation graph top most line is shows the thickest wire 
suppose they have given a graph like this and they are asking which wire is thickest so in the load elongation graph the topest line is the thickest wire so c wire is the thickest wire this you must remember okay okay and i will give you another one numerical this is for wire a and this is for wire b which is more ductile see for wire a only the plastic deformation region is large for wire b there is no plastic deformation region so more ductile is wire a more brittle is one which has plastic deformation region very less so b is more brittle okay i hope you like this lecture if you like this lecture please subscribe kishu snee paatsala thank you